Hi, this is Adam and this is Vegas. We're from INIS Canada and today we're going to demonstrate how to do panelist screening using your SM100. In the last video, we covered how to create N-butanol mixtures for this purpose. Now in this video, we're going to check if Darius has the sensitivity required to be a panelist. That means that his nose is not too sensitive or not too insensitive. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill up our Tedlar bag that comes with the N-butanol kit with the mixture that we have created already. In this mixture, so I'm going to open the valve. Okay. Now this mixture is a 0.5 microliter mixture, which gives a 20 ppm. Now according to my chart, the lower limit is step 4 on a plate 2, and the upper limit is step 12 on plate 2. So what that means is once I install plate 2 in here, Darius must be able to smell the odor between steps 4 and steps 12 to be qualified as a panelist. And before we continue, it's actually a good thing to note that to do a panelist screening, it's a good idea not to have your panelist smoking cigarettes or uh, drinking coffee or alcohol a couple of hours before the test. These things can affect their sense of smell. It's also a good idea not to wear heavy perfume or body spray yourself and your panelists when you're doing this test. So I'm going to connect my Tedlock bag with the N-butanol mixture into the fitting that I have already installed on my SM100. I'm also going to make sure I start with zero on the dilution and please wear this, there it is. Okay. So it's a good idea that uh, Darius doesn't watch the dilution numbers as I'm doing this test. He might feel anxious to say he smells it before we actually get to the part. So I open the valve and Darius is going to breathe in some fresh air. And then I'm going to start to increase the concentration. Stopping at step one and asking him if he can smell it. Can you smell the N-butanol now? No. Okay. We're going to go to the next step. Can you smell the N-butanol now? No. Right. Next step is step three. Can you smell it now? No. Okay. Step four. Can you smell the N-butanol? No. Okay, so you can smell the N-butanol. Now just to make sure, I have the option of going one step higher without letting him know to step five and asking him, can you smell it now? Yeah. Okay, so he can. Or I can go one step lower and go to step three, wait a few seconds, and then ask him, can you smell it now? No. No. So he was correct that he smelled it in step four because he couldn't smell it at step three and he could smell it at step five. So according to my chart, he should smell it between steps four and steps 12. Since he smelled it at step four, he is on the border of being too sensitive, but he is within the norm. So I would be able to use Darius in my olfactometric analysis. Thank you for watching and please check us out on YouTube and Facebook.